I'm not sure the company on this strand or somebody, but uh, basically that money is just passing through to us. And then we have to record that again as an accounting feature. And the final one is the police vehicles. Um, I, if you want me to speak to that or. Yeah. So again, my understanding was the mayor was going to be here. She's not. So if you want to speak to what you know, that might be helpful. Okay. I will definitely speak to what I know. Uh, basically what these are, these uh, we had uh, two rounds of purchasing of three police vehicles, um, one in late 20, uh, 20, 2022 and one uh, in the middle of last year. When the money was set aside for that, um, unfortunately, there was not enough money set aside for those purchases. So we set aside $177,000 both times for those purchases. Um, that did cover the cost of the vehicles themselves, but it did not include the total cost of the upfitting of those vehicles. Right now, uh, to finish upfitting those vehicles that are we currently are in possession of is going to um, be another $89,938. So basically $90,000 additional that was needed um, that was not uh, provided for with those first two requests that we had back in 2022 and 2023. So had we done those correctly or had the money been, uh, if we had done, known the right amount, those would have been instead of 177,000, it would have been a little over $200,000 requests. But unfortunately, we, where we are right now is that we do have outstanding bills and that's what this money is for. So thank you, Mark, for speaking to it. It's 6.05, the mayor just walked in, we'll let her settle, but I, I, I'm sure there's gonna be a follow-up question to that. So we'll ask you, but she might um, need to weigh in as well. So to clarify, how many total vehicles are reflected that you said the $177,000 was for? There was two uh, drops of $177,000. And how so many total vehicles were covered in the two drops? Those two was six total vehicles. So six vehicles yes. total, and there was $354,000 allotted for those six vehicles. Correct. Okay. And so what? where are those six vehicles now? On the road. Okay, so all six vehicles have been received mm -hmm. and all have been upfitted. Except one. Where is the one that hasn't been upfitted? Here. Okay. We're using it. So the bill was short, 90,000. Where did the 90,000 come from? So you're talking about the two forty-six thousands together that are on the... On, is, okay. There's two, yeah, there's only one on this one. Okay, so it's my understanding that as cars were received, they were outfitted. Three vehicles were outfitted by a company called B and C. Those vehicles were outfitted. They came to the city under the $177,000. And that covered the purchase of the vehicles and the outfitting for those three vehicles. It was to cover the cost of that work, yes. Okay. Um, and then the other three vehicles were ordered, received, and they were sent to a vendor that we had always used, which is PAR. So they were outfitted. Same price. I'm sorry? Same price. No. They were from the 177000 That was the same price, but their outfitting was more. Okay. The cars that were done by the company BNC were then received by us evaluated and then sent to par to be re-outfitted because they were deemed to have been upfitted wrong because they were deemed to be outfitted in not incorrectly by request but incorrect in that they didn't match the outfitting of the other vehicles so when you say not incorrect by request am i correct that the company did what the city asked yes. them to do okay yes. so they did that we owe for that Yes. The vehicles were received. Yes. They didn't match the other vehicles in the fleet in terms of the upfitting. Yes. So a decision was made by, I'm assuming not you. Right. To send the vehicles to a place where they were always got up. Other police vehicles got upfitted. And there was a cost to do that yes. upfitting again. Yes. And what was that total? $23,000 for each vehicle. Per vehicle. So per 23 vehicle. times three. Okay. So. Well, two. Two that we got because the third car didn't actually go. Okay. It was scheduled to go, but it didn't. So that's forty six thousand. That's what you're asking for. Yeah, that's which what is I'm essentially the cost to have them done correctly. 
Yeah, and they've already been done. Okay. The work's done. So when is this bill from? 2022 and 2023. Do we have any idea why the bill never surfaced before now? I have no idea. Do we have any idea who approved them to be upfitted the first time? Uh, my understanding is that it was an, uh, the captain at the time who was in the position of, um, was in charge so, while he was there. And I have no idea if this is a dumb question or not, but so it was upfitted once. It got upfitted a second time, essentially. Yeah. What happened to all of the equipment that we paid for or we're trying to pay for from the first upfit? I believe it is, it is kept by the company. It can't be used um, or it wasn't used. And all of this work was done before January 1st of this year. So I can only assume. So I'm assuming that you both have inherited this bill yes. and inherited this entire issue. Yes. But we have paid for and have not paid for the correct upfitting, have but have received the vehicles and they're on the road. That's right. What questions do you guys have? So we don't have any details of what was wrong with the cars. So basically the reason that they were re-outfitted is because we don't have a take car we don't have a take car program for our officers. Our officers are shared by all three shifts and all of our officers. The vehicle Every shift there. And yeah. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I, let me go ahead and then if you want to add anything. So our cars, they're used by a lot of officers. So in an intense situation, that's already um, a situation that's intense. You want your officers to know exactly where things are hanging in their cars. You want them to know where their lights are. You want them to know where their sirens are. It's my understanding that what was done the first time was not done with the way our, our other cars were. So it created a safety issue for our officers because they're, they're the gun where the guns go in between the seats was different. There's a rack above their heads where another um, firearm goes. And then there's equipment in the back of the vehicle that in a situation you would want to know where all of those things are. So the majority was the internal upfitting, not the external not the upfitting of stripes and lights and that kind of stuff. Right. Gotcha. Right. And then 46,000, but this says 89,000. Is that for the third one? That's not done yet. No, so the one that's not done is thirty is twenty three thousand. Right. If we were to get it outfitted, so it is currently outfitted, not in, not the same as the other vehicle. It's like sitting at the police station, incorrect. It's being used. Okay, so it's actually being used. It's being and used. It's not in a Which would be a safety issue, you're saying? Yes. Okay. So A doesn't equal B. Well, I'll ask the question. I'm, I'm yeah. Not, I'm so not be cute. I'm just saying. We said it's not safe. We got yes. to spend money. <laughs> We've got one sitting there, not safe, being used. And, and we can send it to be outfitted, but Councilperson Duvall, we also just passed to where our vehicles are going to be um, Least, yeah. done through yeah, the fleet yeah. management. So, do we pay the twenty three thousand dollars to have it, or do we designate it as a specific type of cruiser and use it? The way that it is so but i think to circle back to councilman helen and saying the 40 so you have two vehicles that are done that are not paid for that are in use that are correct mm -hmm. that's forty six thousand. you have one that is sitting there that may or may not get updated correctly mm -hmm. that's another twenty three thousand. Mm -hmm. what is the fourth the other th three vehicles the other three vehicles have been done by par and those invoices are the you have invoices from B and C for those three, and then you have par invoices for two of those three. And the dollar amount is the same? Very similar, $3,000 difference. Because they're $17,000 a piece, I believe, for the initial work. It was fourteen four for the B and C for each car. It was $14,489. Then when it was resent back to par, it was $23,234 per so the 89,000 here includes the two that were done correctly plus paying for the same two that were done incorrectly. Yes. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. The ones that were done correctly, we don't have to do anything to. Yeah. But it's like, it, 
not that you are, that's not what we're discussing here, but it's like you, this 89,000 doesn't even account for the one that's sitting there. That's still wrong. That's correct. Gotcha. 